Centuries ago, in ancient Arabia, there was a modest little lamp shop owned and operated by a young man whom everybody called Aladdin, because Aladdin was his name. The lamp business was very poor, and Aladdin never had any customers, but that wasn't surprising because he didn't have any lamps either. Uh, the place is a front. I got a pinochle game going on in the back room. Then one day, a very rich and powerful king walked into the shop and said, I need a lamp. Sorry, Your Highness. I can't sell you a lamp. How about a deck of cards? No. Now you get me a lamp or I can have you thrown into a dungeon for your insolence. Aladdin knew that the king meant what he said, so he frantically dashed out of the shop in search of a lamp, but in his haste, unfortunately for him, happened to step into a rather large whoa, 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 hole. Whoa, 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 whoa. And down he tumbled into the inky darkness. I seem to be in a bottomless pit with a bottom in it. He was. With no way out. There wasn't. But just then, in the dim light, Aladdin happened to see a strange-looking lamp lying on the floor. Upon closer inspection, he saw that it was inscribed with the words, Rub me and get a surprise. Aladdin rubbed, and he got a surprise. Good heavens! Ah, uh, Genie! Yes, her name was Genie, and she had light brown hair. Is your name Stephen Foster? No, it's Aladdin. Are you a magic genie? Heavens, no. I'm just an ordinary girl who was brought up in a lamp, that's all. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Try making a wish and see for yourself. Okay. I wish we were out of this pit. And lo and behold, they were. Just like that. Can you imagine? All the time I was stuck in that lamp and I could have wished myself out. All the years I've wasted. According to the book, I get three wishes. I've already used up one, so I gotta be mighty careful with the others. Aladdin hurried back to his shop and greeted the waiting king. I got a lamp for you, Your Highness. Well, it's about time, Ed. It's a little dirty, isn't it? I can have it cleaned up for you in no time. <laughs> you shine it up, and I shall return at uh, 3.30 to pick it up. Now look, Genie Baby, I gotta check on the game in the back room. You shine it up for me, will you? A busy mind is a happy mind, so Genie decided to shine the lamp. However, upon rubbing it... Well, what? Another genie! My name is Sally. Are you Stephen Foster? At that moment, the king returned to his palace and was confronted by the Grand Vizier. Terrible news, your highness. Your throne has been taken from you. You are no longer king. No? Who is? Me. And with that, the king disappeared through a trap door. The Grand Vizier sat on the throne and surveyed the plush throne room. What this room needs is a lamp. So saying, he went to the only lamp shop in town, Aladdin's. And by this time, the shop was literally jammed with recent inhabitants of the lamp found by Aladdin. Let me get this straight. You mean to say all you girls lived in the lamp the same time as me? That's right. That's right. Ladies, ladies, I came here to purchase a lamp. This is the only lamp in the shop, but it's a little busy right now. It's also a little dirty. Well, we can't help that, so shine it up yourself. The Grand Wazir took the lamp and started to rub, and who should appear but the king? That was a sneaky trick, Wazir, dropping me through that trap door. But uh, how did you get in the lamp? Don't ask me. It was your trap door. Now prepare to defend yourself, Grand Wazir. I'm about to seek revenge. What do you say to that? I say, oh yeah? They were about to clash in mortal combat when the card game in the back room broke up and Aladdin came out. Hey, hey, what's going on out here? This evil Grand Wazir tried to, tried to steal my throne, for he wishes to be king. This suddenly gave Aladdin a brilliant idea. He could use one of his remaining wishes and make himself king. Then he could get out of the pinochle game in the back room business and live like a king. I wish that I were king. But nothing happened. Then it came back to him. During the aforementioned pinochle game in the back room, he had unwittingly wished for two aces, one at a time, and his magic wishes had been used up. I goofed. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You mean to tell me you got three wishes when you robbed the lamp? Exactly. And now I'm going to rub it again so I can get three more wishes. Then I'll be king. Oh, no, you're not. I am. A vicious struggle broke out between Aladdin and the evil wazir, each striving to rub the lamp first. As it turned out, they both rubbed at the same time, but instead of a genie or Sally or Mary appearing, nothing appeared. Instead, something disappeared. Namely, Aladdin and the wazir. The king was safe at last, which only goes to prove that, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> well, my word, what does it prove? <laughs> Absolutely nothing, except maybe that uh, only in checkers should one try to uh, jump a king.